What's going on? How you doing? Doing great. So break it break it down for me, right? Tell them what your name is and what your the brand of your 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 clothes is. My name is Amanda Rose. Um, my crochet brand is Lovely Stitching. Um, it's both. My Instagram is like the same as my name, and then my um my brand is the same as my my you know my brand is the same. So, like you know, it goes hand in hand. So let me, um, cause I said like how I said in the, in the intro that you're from, you're originally from Philly, but right now you're in Atlanta. Yeah. I'm originally from Philly, born and raised. What part? Um, I was raised in North, but hey, like I lived okay. all over. Okay. Okay. So what made you go to Atlanta? Cause a lot of people saw the story on online and they were like, okay, why, why is she in Atlanta? Like, were you pursuing like expanding your your brand what, what was it so i originally traveled down to elena for a weekend um all-star weekend or what, what weekend are we talking just just for a weekend i just wanted to see what elena is like you know i heard it's a lot of hospitality down here yeah um, like you know i heard it's real friendly like be, also because i wanted to move down here you know in the next like nine months so I was planning it. I just wanted to travel. Um, I drove down here. Um, you know, I just bought my car recently. Congrats. I drove in my first car. And um, I was only supposed to be here for about days. And my car started having issues. You yeah. know. Did you go by yourself or did you have anyone else with you? I just went with my baby, my son. How, how old is your son? My son would be two. And just... Dope, dope. So yeah. you so you went you went down to Atlanta to check it out. You you seen the hospitality, which I'm sure you loved. Yeah. What made you stay or what 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 prolonged this 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 weekend visit to being longer? Well, my car started messing up. Mm. So um, you know, I was really skeptical of having it home. So I decided to stay down here not knowing much of anybody. Yeah. Um I just had to start making a way for me and my son to survive. You know, um, currently I've been down here for seven weeks. Yeah. Um, in the beginning it was rough. Like I was staying in the Airbnb I when like I first I know like it. first came down here, like it. and it only lasted for about like four days. I and after that I didn't have anywhere to go. So um, so I. I was staying with somebody, but I was, like, living out of my car. Like, all my belongings were in my trunk. Wow. Um, sometimes it was rough for me to get, you know, because I decided, hey, about, like, three weeks passed since I was here. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know, wow, I'm just stay down here and start applying to jobs and things like that. Um, I told... You know, basically, like, where I was staying, that was, like, cut short, um, and I had to leave, you know, with my son, so, you know, sorry, my son is... No, no, all good. So, so break it down to me, right? So, you went down to Atlanta, just you and your son, it was supposed to be a weekend thing, and, and unfortunately, you start having car problems, and you found yourself going in and out of an Airbnb and living out, uh, out in, uh, like inside of your car, just you and your son. So then you, you now you're starting to figure, trying to figure out money, money moves on how you can get yourself right. And the baby finds himself in Atlanta. What yeah. happens exactly and with like the baby goes? Um, so basically, so like, like I'm, I'm going to get her, you know, yeah. I was crocheting my head. I traveled down here. I brought about 10 hats that I made with me. Um, you know, and I'm like, damn, I really need to get this out here. I need, I need money. Like, I need to survive. Yeah. You know, I was doing DoorDash and I was walking around Atlanta selling my hats. Pool, pool, you know, um, and that wasn't really successful, but not, I didn't give up. 
So, you know, I saw the baby was coming to Atlanta, Georgia. For me and greet. And um, I decided to, like, see if I could get his attention. You know, if you go back in my post previously and before I received it, um, you'll see that I was already tagging him, you know, um, telling him to check my workout. Taking very MTI meals, you know, just trying to get myself out there to get any type of exposure I could so I could brand. Um, you know, I was t- everybody that the baby had the, the day he came here and his cameraman, Rico, yeah. um, he was one that responded through DMing, kind of like worked that out for me. Um, to meet the baby, you know, at his meet and greet. So now you're at the meet and greet. You waited out uh, outside the meet and greet for how long? Um, three hours. Three hours. So within those three hours, you know that you're about to meet the baby. Um, you already well, spoke to his cameraman. I didn't, I didn't really know I was going to meet him because, you know, I didn't have a ticket or anything. Yeah. And, like, you know, I had to pull them strings, you know? Yeah. So, that was the Philly in you, by the way. You know that, right? That was the feeling and you pulling them strings. Yeah, definitely. So you pulled the strings. So now you're now you meet up with the baby. Did you have any idea that he was gonna show love to you to the point that he was gonna that he was gonna put some money in your pocket? No, I didn't even know like I didn't even know I would like get this amount of love, like and I feel extremely blessed, yeah. you know. Um I feel like I started over. I started a whole new lease. Yeah, no, that's that's so dope. So how how did it feel after you got that um that unexpected blessing? Because like like you said, you didn't really think he was gonna show you love to that extent. Like not only did he did he show you some love and and um invest in you and your brand and everything, he let you keep the the merch too as well. I just. I just felt extremely, like, happy, you know? Yeah. Um, I feel like I never had anyone to believe in me to that extent. You know, I probably owed support, but that type of, um, like, belief from somebody else in, in me, it was just so unbelievable. Now, let's get, uh, I need you to keep it real with me real, uh, one time, man, all right? If you would have asked your, your, your baby at the moment, to to get the phone so you could take the picture, would he have stopped playing the games on his on on the phone, or was that not happening? My son would have had a fit. He would have. <laughs> he he, had, so I let that rock. <laughs> yeah, that that's funny though, because the baby even said it himself. He's like, "Yo, I know, like my daughter when she has the phone, there's no way I'm taking that from her." And he was- he he wasn't he wasn't wrong at all. So what what's what's next? Like I mean, is it, is this a new turn on the leave? Because you seem like you're in better spirit. Like is is everything starting to go in a better in in a better way? Um, I feel like this is definitely a life changing experience. Yeah. Um, I just needed one person to believe in me, and he believed in me. And it's just not like he's just one actually a fan of his music, you know. Um. And like, like certain rap I listen to, they help me get through these struggles and yeah. this like depression and things like that. And I feel like in such better spirits, like you said, I'm like overwhelmed, I'm overjoyed. Yeah. Um, I don't want nothing but the best for anybody. Like Amen. everybody that comes across my page, even if you knew me beforehand, I just wish everybody well. No, that's that's. That's the right spirit to have and everything. And we wish you nothing but the best. Anything on my end or our end that we can do to support you, we're more, we're more than willing to do. Um, shout your social media out so some, uh, that the viewers can make sure that they come, show love, buy some clothes, you know? Uh-huh. Um, well, you asked me to make scullies. I don't only make scullies. I make baby clothes. I yeah. started off with baby clothes. I make baby clothes sweaters you know not even just babies even to adults you yeah. know but scullies what was the littlest thing i could carry around in my car yeah it didn't have that much to make 
So that's why, you know, I present Scully's. But um, I make everything. But my Instagram is Amanda and then period, like, you know, the period sign. Yeah. Rope, two underscores. That's my personal Instagram. Um, my big page is lovely, two underscores, stitching with a G at the end. Mm-hmm. Is there anything, a last thing that you would like the people know about you, um, your brand, how you and your, the status of you and your family? What, what's the last thing you would like to leave everyone off with? Um, I just really, like, just want everybody to, like, if you're going through a struggle, you know, just continue striving. Like, don't give up. Like, you know, it's a lot of people that make music. You know, they might have similar to mine. Just don't give up, you know. You might meet that person one day, and they will bless you. Like, you'll run across an unexpected blessing. 